what is up everybody we are back at it again playing some more runescape i was finishing up a tutorial i got tired and we had to stop the video so we're back and uh i don't know what we're gonna be doing today to be honest i'm just gonna be going through this thing i did hear uh, one of the biggest pieces of advice playing this is to just enjoy it just to enjoy the game so let's just hop, hop back in this thing and see exactly what the heck we working with man hopefully it picks right back up where we left off ah it did Look at us, vibing. Okay, so I'm going over here to mine this rock. I'm supposed to mine some rock for this, uh, this guy who's gonna crack, craft me something. He's gonna craft me something. Okay. You got some tin iron ore from the rock. Okay. Is this rock gonna break or what? You get some tin iron ore from the rock. I got two of them. Let's go. All right, so I need to go over here and mine uh, this. What is this? Mine copper rock? All right, let's go and do this. Put in that work. I was working hard. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, before we left off, okay, you get some copper rock ore. Awesome. It's like he's not stopping. <laughs> I'm not even making him do this. He's just randomly, you know, I clicked mine this rock and he just keeps going. I wonder like how you make him stop. <laughs> All right. Now we got to go back to this guy over here. He's going to make us our little, our little thing lang. Boom. Talk to the mining instructor. You show the mining instructor the tin ore and the copper ore you mined. Awesome. Great work. The better the pickaxe you use, the faster you'll mine. Also, the better the pickaxe, the higher the mining level you'll require to, you'll require to wield it. Which is weird, because wouldn't you have to be that level already to have a higher level axe? It would just make more sense that way. But anyways, uh, so why do I want to mine ore? Exactly. Exactly. You tell him, LeBray James. You tell him. Why do I want to mine ore? You can use your smithing skill to smelt ore into metal bars at a furnace. Then... At an anvil, you smith the bars into melee weapons and armor worn by warriors. Awesome. You can smelt tin and copper together to make bronze equipment. Simply deposit the ores into a furnace, forge, or anvil, and then use the furnace to smelt them into a bar of metal. That's a lot of information, but I'm going to forget all that. <laughs> I'm not even going to hold you. Let's go. Let's go over here. Because clearly the game has a direction for us. So I'm gonna go here, smelt furnace. Ooh, shit. So I have, what do I have? Oi. Uh, specialist smelting value. Don't I have something in here? Uh, at a furnace, you can store your mined ore in your metal bank and smelt ores into bar. Left click this button to deposit the tin and copper ore in your backpack into your metal bank. Oh. Okay, select. Select bronze bars. Okay. Left click this button to start smelting. Okay. Select. What? Bronze bar. Look at the time it's taking for it to finish. Done. You should deposit your bars into your metal bank via a furnace, forge, or anvil. All right, cool. Let's go back to Bubba over here. Talk to him real quick. So how do I make a weapon out of a bronze bar? I was gonna ask the same damn thing. Okay. When you use an anvil, you'll choose the item you want to smith, as long as you have a high enough smithing level and the correct number of bars. Bars. Uh, the higher your smithing level, the better quality of metal you can work. You start off on bronze and work your way up as your smithing skill increases. Interesting. Start by smithing a bronze dagger at an anvil. Okay, well we back at it like a crack at it. Let's go. Uh, ooh, so this is a heat forge. Okay, so click this button to deposit any ores or bars in your backpack into your metal bank. So once again, we did this. Select, and then select the bronze bar, which you have two of, since that's in my metal bank. And then, ooh, bronze dagger. The da damage is 48, accuracy is 150. Style stabbing, okay, let's go. <laughs> Begin project. Okay. 
I wonder if your your unfinished item is at full heat bronze dagger used at the use the anvil. Okay, this is the oh the Smith anvil. Oh, that's what that's called. What? I've been seeing stuff like that in uh, Vikings and uh, those old movies, like, like those old Spartan TV shows and stuff. I didn't know that was called an anvil. Okay. You finish smithing a bronze dagger. Let's go! Alright. Now we're we're all like, you know, protected and everything. We got ourselves a little, a little poker. Let's go over here to the mining instructor. What's up, my guy? Excellent. Now that you have a melee weapon, you're ready to learn about combat. <laughs> you bet your, you bet your, uh, you know, Viking self I am. Let's go. All right. So let's go over here, figuring out where the next order of business is. Ooh, let's, come on. Yeah, the gates are open. Take me to the battlegrounds. The combat instructor, level 146. Oh my God. Hi, my name is Liberate James. In case you were wondering. Ha ha ha. Let's go. To me, you're just another newcomer who thinks they're ready to fight. I'm Vanaka, the greatest swordsman alive. Okay. You'll do barely any damage with your bare hands. Let's start by wielding that butter knife you're carrying. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna need you to put some respect on that butter knife, okay? It took me all but 20 seconds to make it. Let's go. Now you're ready. Uh, for combat, attack a rat. You'll continue to fight each other until it's dead or you do something else. Okay, awesome. Let's go. Uh, how do I attack, though? That's my question. Does he tell me how to attack? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Giant rat, let's attack him. Ooh, ooh let's go. Let's go. Ooh, go crazy. Go crazy. Come on. Oh, this is like Final Fantasy. Is it turn base? Come on. Yeet! Come on. Come on, we... Yeah! Got him. Let me attack this one, too. I'm killing all these rats, bro. I'm getting my experience points in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, come on. We don't miss. We don't miss. We don't miss. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, this rat's kind of low-key. Go attack a giant rat three. Okay, so hold on. I'm not done yet. This rat, they keep big business. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, no. He's he's lunging at me. That's not good. Can multiple uh, monsters attack you? Because we're not about to let that happen. Giant rat. Come on, man. I want all the smoke. Everybody in this cage is getting lit up. Including you, sir. We thought this was... Oh, my God. Come on. Let's go. Giant rat. I'm I want to see that health dwindle. Do you understand how strong I am? I'm level one, my guy. Where is my level, by the way? Let me, like, hover over my level real quick. Ooh, she is knit. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Let's go. Okay, cool. Next rat. You over here. You thought it was sweet? Let's go. Let's go. I gotta upgrade my dagger, man. I want this to do way more damage than just the little damage it's been doing. But I'm, gonna, I'm definitely upgrading my experience points and whatever little combat thingy that I'm doing. Look at that. Ah, yes. There's like three more rats. Where y'all coming from? Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay, cool. Watch this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Am I fighting two rats? Oh, it's up. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Okay. Come on. Use my shield. Come on. Yeet. Yeet. All right, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm grinding this, uh, this little rat situation. We have an infestation problem that needs to be taken care of. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Ah. Look at my level up. Hey, level two. They weren't ready for your boy. They were not ready for your boy. That's a level three rat fighting a level two demon over here. You better ask about me. Let's go. All right. Come on. Let's go. Whoo! Ooh. Yes. Yes. I c yeah, all of them is tote. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's go. They're all dead. Let's go and uh, talk to the instructor and show them our accolades. Hey, sir, do you, uh, do you realize what I just did back there? <laughs> you have no more rats back there. Well done. You've defeated your first monster. Oh, uh, sir. 
Once again, put some respect on my name. <laughs> I defeated all of the monsters. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot more to combat, including the ranged and magic skills. Magic skills? You'll learn about them when you get to the mainland. Well, I need to learn about them now. What the heck? For now, you're finished in this cave. Return to the surface and continue your journey. Okay, I need to learn about the magic because I did not know we could do magic. See, it's been a long time since I played RuneScape. I had no idea. I had no idea. Half of y'all about to be like, he didn't know about this. Whoops. Climb the ladder. I have to talk to the financial advisor next. Okay, so let's go over here. Now let's go ahead and change the perspective of this. All right. All right. Cool. It's a financial advisor. Ooh, look at him dressed up in a business suit. I don't think they had business suits like this back in the day. All right, financial advisor, what can you uh, do for me? Oh, whoa, 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 I'll walk right past him. Talk to the financial advisor. Money is useful because you can buy items from the Grand Exchange if you don't want to craft them yourself. Very true, very true. Uh, gold coins are the currency of human kingdoms. Your coins are kept in your coin pouch below the items in your backpack. You currently have zero coins. Oh, damn, all right, I know I'm broke, but gee. It's like when you walk up to the, the cashier trying to buy something. It's like, sir, your account says zero. Your card declined. <laughs> uh, there are three basic ways to, uh, to make money. Skilling, combat, and trading. Some people have to work for an adventurer like you and will reward you for completing quests. Interesting. Many enemies will drop items when they die. You can sell them to a general store or on the Grand Exchange in Ferroc. Awesome. Uh, by getting a high level in skills such as cooking, mining, smithing, or fishing, you create or gather your own items and sell them for pure profit. Awesome. You can only carry so many items in your backpack. You can deposit items you want to keep and not to sell to your bank. Awesome. All right. You can access your bank from a bank booth or a bank chest. Look for the bank icon on your mini map or a world map. So this is your mini map. I wonder if you can expand this. Can you expand this? What does this little thing do? Oh, it's your option menu. Oh, okay. All right. So, oh, it'll have a dollar sign next to it. That's the bank icon. Okay, let me get out of that. I don't need that. All right, so let's go here and check. Bank booth. Ooh, okay. 25. Withdraw one coin. Can I withdraw more than that? All right, I have to keep at least 15 on me. 15 seems reasonable to have on me. Cool. All right, deposit one empty pot. Yeah, let's deposit this burnt shrimp. I don't need that. Deposit this, the wood. I don't need that either. The bucket, I'll deposit that. I guess I'll keep the bread. Cool. That was good. Close. Awesome. You, you're nearly finished. The prayer instructor would like to have a chat with you in the nearby church. Um, sir, I'm not religious. <laughs> That's gonna be a problem for me. Okay. Anyways, obviously we need to go and talk to the, the priest. Even though we're not religious, we'll go and uh, talk to him anyways. That's how the game works. Just playing the game. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Ooh, I like this little perspective we got going on here. All right, over here. Come on, let's go. Click away, click away. Ooh, this building is nice. Oh, my God. All right, let's get a better angle. Ooh, look at the priest. Talk to the prayer instructor. Hello, sir. How do I pray? Good day, brother. My name is James Bright, a.k.a. LaBray James. Let's go. Okay. Hello, LeBray James. I'm Brother Brace. I'm here to tell you about prayer. Okay. This is your prayer list. Prayers boost your effectiveness in combat. As you increase your level in the prayer skill, you'll unlock more prayers. Click the prayer you wish to use to activate it, and click it again to deactivate it. Well, I'm trying to deactivate. I'm trying to activate this. Thick skin. Let's go. Acti active prayers will drain your prayer points. You, you recharge your prayer points by praying at an altar, usually found at a church. That's so cool. What? Okay, most enemies will drop bones when defeated. Pick up and bury bones to earn prayer experience. Okay. Are there rules for how I should behave? I mean, I'm curious, man. Y'all know I ain't that religious, so... 
Yes, in general, always try to be courteous to others. Remember that adventurers like yourself are real people with real feelings. If you go around being abusive or causing trouble, you could end up in trouble. I'll keep that in mind. All right. <laughs> cool. All righty. What's this? Ooh, let me turn my prayer off. Cool. Let's pray at an altar. Let's pray, because we got to charge our prayer points. All right. Ooh, look at my prayer points. See? Fully restored. Your prayer points, which are needed to keep prayers active, you can restore these by praying at an altar or by drinking a prayer restore potion. All right, let's get out of here, man, because clearly I think we're done. All right. Boom. So... Talk to the magic instructor. That's where we want. That's where we want to go to next. Let's go. I'm trying to learn how to do uh, my uh, magic tricks, man. I'm trying to fight these demons with some magic tricks. All right, let's go. Let's go. Where in the world is this magic instructor? Ooh, Gandalf. Gandalf, for real. Oh, my God. What's up, Gandalf? Magic instructor, good day, newcomer. Your journey is nearly at its end. Well, I'm, I'm happy about that. My name is uh, Tarova. Before you leave for the mainland, I'm going to tell you a little bit about magic. Let's start by opening your spell book. Okay. Oh, that's my spell book. Okay, that's, that's what that is. Magic book. There's a list of your spells. Casting spells increases your magic skill and consumes runes, which you carry in your backpack. You create runes with the rune crafting skill. Oh, shit. That's pretty complicated, I guess. With a low magic level, you ca cast only the simplest spells, such as airstrike. You must wield a magic weapon to cast combat spells. Ooh. You'll begin your adventure in Burthorp, in the kingdom of Asgarnia. The Burthorp Imperial Guard need an adventurer like yourself to defend their principality from trolls invading from the north. Awesome. I'm going to deactivate the protective spells around this island so you can home teleport to Burthorpe using this lodestone network. If you ever get lost, you can freely teleport to, uh, to a lodestone you have discovered. What is a lodestone? Click here to open the lodestone network map. Okay. Home teleport. Oh, that's cool. This map shows which lodestones you have activated so far. So I only have the one I'm currently here, so that makes sense. The Burthorpe, the Burthorpe, bleh, bleh, the Burthorpe Lodestone has been activated by you. Click the Lodestone to teleport there. Let's go, man. I'm about to teleport to. Let's go. Look at this. I'm drawing a little pentagram on the, on the ground and stuff. Okay. Woo wee! Runescape. So I'm actually in the in the game for real. Oh shit! This is gonna be crazy. Look at this. Burthorp. Okay. I'm scared. Look at all the piggies. And look at everybody. Vibing. Oh, this is exactly how I remember it. Okay. Awesome. Your activity tracker list suggests... Uh, ugh. Your activity tracker lists suggested suggested bleh, I can't talk suggested objectives and activities. Your first objective is to speak to Terrell, the Slayer Master. Okay. Who is Terrell? Okay. These are all real people, right? Okay. It's got to be this guy. Talk to Terrell. Terrell. Ayo, what are you after then? Uh, something to kill? I uh, maybe adventure. I want to do an adventure. You've come to the right place. I'm a Slayer Master. I train adventurers to seek out and defeat specific monsters. I'll identify suitable targets and assign you a quota. Awesome. Burthorpe is surrounded by dangerous creatures. Are you eager to battle monsters for fun, heroism, and and profit? Then Slayer is the skill for you. Awesome. Trolls are the real enemy in Burthorpe, but you'll need food and armor to survive against them. True that. Oh god, I gotta... 
Oh my god, is this person dead? There's like flies around him. Okay, you should prepare before risking your life in combat. This is the last adventurer they sent me. He fought the trolls without armor or food. Don't be him. Oh my god, he's dead. Like, his body. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, we, Yeah, we're not trying to be him. Path complete. Call to adventure. Discover why Birthorp Imperial... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I need to make four... Little wood thingies. Let's go over here. Chop down tree. Man, it's, it's getting late. All right, let's go over here, chop tree down. This is probably gonna be the last two, because this is a pretty big tree. Nice. Awesome. Uh, catch fish at the lake in Birthorp. So, congratulations, you have earned your first level in a skill. Higher skill levels unlock new activities, equipment to craft, locations to explore, quests to complete, and so much more. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, let's go. Oh, of course, my computer's lagging. Um, all right. So, catch crayfish at the lake south of Birthorpe. So, I don't know where the lake is. I'm going to have to find the lake. So, uh, let's go here. That's Where's the direction on here? Is there a compass? Map. North. Um, let me see. Let's go down. Okay, that's much better. These little dragon pet things. I want... I wonder when I could get a pet. Oop. Oop. This is what I get for playing on a MacBook. It's choppy, guys. Sorry about that. Oop. So many people. So many people. I hear an ocean nearby or like a lake of some sort. That's a cool little, like, uh, deer. Okay. I hear boxing. Or, like, sword fighting. Okay. Okay. Right. Catch crayfish. Oh, you can kill these cows? Oh, where? Let's go. Attack cow. I need to go get in there and kill some cows. Oh, dude, dude, dude. No, no, no. Go back. Go back, bro. Go back. Bro, what is wrong with you? Go back. Oh, my God. Let's go over here. I need meat. Take raw beef. Take raw beef. Awesome. Some enemies drop untradeable charms when defeated. Charms are ingredients in summoning pouches. Okay. Okay, I get it. How do I get out of this? Uh, take raw beef. I'm trying to take it. It's not letting me take it. All right, uh... Okay. Okay. Cool. Wonder. Okay. Take raw beef. Take bowstring. Uh, why is not? Whoa! So it's not letting me take the uh, the raw beef. 
I'm I'm like really weirded out by that. Like, look at this. I I'm hovering over it. Take bowstring. So I, I I select that, and then nothing. Take bowstring. Okay. Well, that's weird. I can't take raw meat apparently. I guess I'm not ready for that. Okay, loot. I guess I'll close that. Oh, wait a minute. Let me go back. I'm pretty sure I can't pick up raw beef. There's no way I can't pick that up. Look at this. There we go. Loot all. Yes! Okay. Yes! Let's go. All right. The path to... Oh, that's... So, this is important. So whenever you do, like, pick up random items in the ground, you have to use your loot option. That makes a lot of sense. I was getting frustrated there for a second. Okay. Let's do... Okay, fishing spot. Let's go. Okay. Trying to get some crayfish. Oh, cray, cray, cray. Let's go. What did I... Did I catch anything? What did I catch? Okay. Oh, use raw crayfish. So, catch crayfish at the lake of Birthorp. Oh, so I need I need 12. Oh my god, 12 crayfish? Is this man on a seafood diet? You only need to click once. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm trying to have him catch all the crayfish. He needs 12 crayfish, bro? Jesus Christ. All right. Alrighty. There we go. Light logs in your backpack to make a fire. Okay, so let's go over here. We're gonna pick a nice little spot to make a... Wait a minute, there's already a fire right here. Never mind. It says to light it yourself. So, okay, I get it. Light logs. I was gonna use somebody else's fire high key. Alright, now let's go ahead and put this in the fire. Use raw crayfish. Boom. Use raw crayfish in the fire. Nice. Cook that. Cook that thingy thing. Ooh, nice. Look at this. 23 seconds left. Go ahead. Whip it up in the kitchen, big pimpin'. Yes. Don't burn it, though. Please don't burn this cra crawfish. Oh, it's cooking all of them. Look at the, the backpack inventory. It's actually cooking all of them right now. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I have enough food. Now I need to mine enough resources to smith my armor. All right, so get to the copper. Mine copper or in Birthorp mine. Okay, the Birthorp mine. Where would that be? The minimap shows areas you're currently in. Left click a location on the minimap to travel to that location. Uh. Okay. Okay. What the freak? Is this that's not the mining ore, is it? Smelt furnace. Nope. This is the Is that sm the mine? Form pottery wheel. Smelt furnace. Okay. Wonder where's the mining place? What if it's over here? It's kind. It's got to be in this area. Okay. This is the the what? What is this called? Okay. Uh. No, nah, we are already over there. Okay, that's what I need to do. So this is book care. What is this place? It's a castle of some sort. Uh, that does not look like a mine. I don't know where that is. Hold on. Is that a mine? 
straight ahead? Where this arrow's going? Maybe. Heat Forge. What? Okay. Smelt Furnace. Mine Copper Ore at Birth Orb. Okay. Let me go ahead and see where it's taking me. Oh, you have to go inside the cave. Okay. Birth Orb Mine. Enter Birth Orb Mine. Well, obviously. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, let's go over here and start mining some mother freaking ore. Okay, mine some tin rock. Oh, we need copper ore, dude. That's tin rock. Oh, it's pointing to what I need to mine to. Okay, hold on. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. You're wasting time. All right, there we go. That's what you need. I might need to increase my backpack because I feel like my backpack slots, like, we don't have a whole lot of space. It's like, your inventory is full. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go. Look at me working hard. Working hard. All right. I'm definitely going to have to weld me a nice little strapping suit of armor here. Mine ore in the birth warp mine. I'm glad I found it, man. I was, woo, good work. If you'd like to know more about mining, don't hesitate to ask. Tobias the bronze arms. Awesome. Well, let's Tobias. Let's go over here. Mine ten rock. So we do need to mine some ten rock. Critical swing. Woo! Look at me. Put your back into it. Mine ten ore and birth orb mine. Oh, so I wasn't wrong. I could have mined the ten in, uh, in the first place. That's cool. I'm going to probably follow the activities tracker because I think the activity tracker knows what's best for me. I'm very inexperienced in this game, okay? All right, so it seems like I got what I needed. Smelt the bronze bars at the furnace. Okay, let's see if I can remember the tutorial stuff from earlier because it's going to be kind of difficult. Exit to birth orb. All right. Everybody is doing the same thing I'm doing. Ooh. All right. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I wish I could walk by, like, you know, the traditional way. <laughs> so, this is where you smelt. And I'm not about to enter the mine, a freak. I'm about to go over here. Smelt furnace. Alright, let's go. Okay, so we have to go here. Deposit all materials. Select. Copper ore. Tin ore. At a furnace, you can store your mined ore in your metal bank and smelt ores in the bars. Okay. Okay. Left click this button to deposit tin and copper ore into your backpack. Wait, yeah. In your backpack into your metal bank. So, cool. You have... No ores or bars deposit. Select the bronze bar. Left click this button to start smelting. That's weird. There's no bronze bars though. I'm like, I can't smelt something I don't have. You should deposit your bars into your metal bank uh, via a furnace or an anvil. So here's the heat forge. Use this button to deposit any ores or bars in your backpack into your metal bank. Okay. Select bronze bar to show all the items you can smith this metal. Okay. Ooh, nice. Let's go smelt a helmet, man. Begin project. Nice. You know we can't be out here. Your unfinished item is at full heat. Bronze helmet using anvil. So, heat forge. Uh, anvil is where? Where is the anvil? What's well, behind me? Oh, that's the anvil right there. Right behind me? Oh my god. What a convenient place to put that. Okay. Nice. Put in that work. Smelt furnace. This is how we increase our skills. Wow, that's quality metal work. I can see you're going to be a master smith. Alright, Linza, what's that number though? <laughs> you finished smithing brawn. 
bronze full helm. Okay. Let's put this on. Equip this. Uh, wear bronze full helm. I like how they use wear instead of equip. Well, anyways. Mining and smithing. Path complete. Mining and smithing. Your reward has been added to your backpack. Seven bronze bar noted. <laughs> Select an option. I want to show to rail my new helmet. I want to smith a suit of melee armor. Uh, yeah. Of course. Heat and heat and smith a bronze plate body, chain body at a forge and anvil. Okay. Heat forge. Okay, let's do that. All right, select bronze bar to show all the items you can smith with this metal. Nice. I'm trying to smith. Ooh, dang. Level one, level one. Bronze plate body. Bronze chain body. Okay. Let's do this. Nice. All right, let's do the anvil really quick. Nice. Go crazy, bro. About to get ourselves some armor, my guy. Let's go. Yes. Yes. It's going to take some time, but we got it. Almost there. See? We got like a couple more seconds. And we should be fine. Three, two, one. Your item has run out of heat. It's very slow to work. Blah, 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 blah. We're good. Your smithing is finished. Well, you're, you finished smithing bronze plate body. Awesome. Let's go ahead and equip this. All right. Wear bronze plate body, obviously. Let's go back over to the heat forge. Um, actually, let's click this. Cool. All the items we could craft. Bronze chain body. Oh, scroll down to the miscellaneous category and it's like bronze ore box. Okay. Okay. What the heck? What's a bronze ore box? Can I like store more ore or something like that? Alright, let's go into the anvil. Cause you already know what's up. You already know what's goody. Can I get like some armored pants or something? That would be really cool. Because I feel like my legs are exposed. Okay. Alright. Uh Bill. Okay. You're not able to deposit anything in your backpack into your ore box. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go back into the birth orb mine. We gotta enter this thing. Cool, so now we have to go mine copper rock. Look at me putting in that work. Yes, yes. Put your back into it, Big Pippin. Put your back into it. Yes, look at those fireworks. That's us putting in that hard work. I wish I could zoom in and see my beautiful face. Critical swing, cause you know we in this thing. Let's go. Mine copper ore and birth orb mine. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool, man. I didn't really think I would be this invested into the game, but I guess I am now. That's crazy. Let me put in my hard work. Let me go ahead and uh, look at that, man. Look at that. Let me get a better angle of this guy. Okay, now we have to go move over here. All right. Uh, where do I go? Because there's obviously something else I need to be smithing. Ooh. Oh, wait. It's this. Mine 10 rock. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is more surface level. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. LeBray James put in that work, man. Build those mooselies. 
build those mooslies. I'm almost done. Your backpack is full. You can store ore in your ore box. Let's do that. Fill bronze ore box. Thank you. All right, resume mining. You're not done yet. You're not done yet, son. Let's go. So I wonder, when you go ahead and deposit your ore into the uh, the bank, you can probably just select the ore box and then just like put all that stuff inside of the, the metal bank or whatever. That would be interesting. Also too, I'm curious, how do you get pets? I would love to have a little pet dragon follow me everywhere. That would be really cool. If anybody has any answers to these questions, let me know in the comments down below because I don't know. Looks good to me though. All right, cool. Uh, now I need to go up here outside of the little cave thing. Smelt bronze bars at the furnace. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Let's go back over here. Smelt furnace. I like the little uh, soundtrack they got going on. Left click this button and deposit the tin and copper ore in your backpack into your metal bank. Okay. Select bronze bars. I like how they always say select bronze bars and there's nothing to select. Like, <laughs> left click this button to start smelting. Okay. Look at this. I must be an alchemist or something, man. I'm turning nothing into something. You should deposit your bars into your metal bank via a furnace, forge, or anvil. So let's go to the forge really quick. Uh, boom. Okay, back, back on our stuff. Select. Nice. Just like select the items you want to make. Ooh, plate legs. Plate skirt. Ah, uh, plate legs seem better. Select bronze plate legs and then begin project. Let's go. Okay, and it's time to use the anvil right afterward. Let's go. You got a hot item. Yes, put in that work. Put in that work, my guy. Put in that work. Okay, so that I think that's six out of six. Heat Smith bronze plate legs, plate skirt. Or plate skirt at a forge and anvil. So we did that. And we're waiting, ready to wear it. You finish smithing bronze plate legs. Path complete. Smith melee armor. Your reward has been added to your backpack. Two bronze bar noted. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put these plate legs on. Glad this is not Dark Souls. <laughs> Alright. Way of the warrior. Prepare for battle. The venture into the domain of the trolls. Okay. Uh, talk to Terrell, equipped with a melee weapon and melee armor, with some cooked food in your backpack. Um, hmm. My melee weapon. Let's go here. Okay. Awesome. I should craft like a thing. Where's Terrell? Oh, it's gonna lead me to Terrell. Yo, Terrell! Where is he? Nah, no, that's not where I wanted to go. Let me go over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're like all the way down there. Let's go ahead and click like there or something. Oh, Terrell is... Is this Terrell? Did I miss him? Where is Terrell? Oh, oh, he's right here. Talk to Terrell. All right, I missed him. I can't believe I didn't even see him. He has a whole skull above him. All right. Oh, your backpack is pretty full. You should deposit at least two items into your bank before you proceed. Okay, that's what he said. I, I, I keep forgetting the dialogue boxes at the bottom. So the bank is where... It has to be a fancy looking building. All right. Um, about to say. Uh, this is the ooh, climb up ladder. Where in the world is the bank? 
Is this the bank? I'm about to find the hell out. Because I don't know. Wait a minute. Look at the... Oh, dude. Hold on. It's right there on the map. Awesome. What the fuck? Okay. So this is the bank. Bank booth. Ah. Nice. You can store items you don't want to carry in your bank. Left click an item in your backpack to deposit it. Let's go ahead and um, deposit five raw beef. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'm going to have to deposit 10 grave crawfish. Ooh, deposit five bones. Cowhide. Nice. Cool. Nice, 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 nice. Well, that's cool. Uh, I'll have to organize my inventory. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Jesus, that was close. When you've deposited enough items, click here to close your bank. Okay. How much money do I have? Hmm. Empty your money pouch into your bank. Ooh. I have 30 altogether. Let's withdraw like 10. Withdraw 10 coins. Just keep keep 10 on me all right let's get out of here and talk to what's his face path complete learn how to safely store your items in your bank i do hear that if you enter certain areas you need to be careful like you have to deposit a lot of your value valuable items because you could get killed and lose your items and stuff like that so i don't want to be that guy but yeah let's go ahead and finish this quest all right uh, excellent. Not only do you have food, a helmet, and melee weapon, but you've even equipped additional melee armor. Well done. Why, thank you. <laughs> All in the day's work, sir. All in the day's work. Uh, cool. Now you're prepared. It's time for you to learn some more combat techniques. Okay. Combat and RuneScape uses a resource called adrenaline. Makes sense. As you attack, you will gain adrenaline. Cool. When you come out of combat, your adrenaline will slowly drain to zero. Awesome. When built up, adrenaline can be spent on powerful attacks called abilities. Interesting. What? Okay. Threshold abilities require 50% adrenaline to activate and spend 15% adrenaline when activated. Ultimate abilities require and spend 100% adrenaline. Jesus. Okay. Uh, abilities can be accessed on the action bar. I mean, am I about to drop kick somebody or something? An action bar is set to customizable shortcuts to many actions in RuneScape. You can left click or keybind a slot to perform the action. Ooh, well. Alright. Abilities are one of the actions of the action bar. Wait, yeah. Abilities are one of the actions an action bar can hold. A threshold ability called Slaughter has been added to your action bar. Ooh, what does that do? When triggered, your ability will go on cooldown. This is a short period with, within, you, within which you cannot use that ability again. Okay, so what does it do? Your action bar can also hold items as well as abilities. Interesting. Drag cooked food from your backpack into your action bar. Uh, I, I guess I'm gonna drag some crawfish into my little boom. It's called crayfish though. It's funny as hell. All right, uh, and maybe some bread. They both heal like 200 points. So that's pretty, pretty decent. All right. Uh, and yeah, maybe some craft logs. Cool. Oh, I can finally talk, type in chat. What's up? Let's type up. Oh, shit. 
Boom. Cool. Cool. I remember not being able to, like, talk with anybody in uh, RuneScape because I was, you know, too brain dead to figure out how to press enter. <laughs> Look at that random dead body. All right. It's nighttime already, bro? Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Okay. Uh, defeat troll chuckers. Oh, my God. Let's go in here and defeat some trolls. Enter Birthorp Troll Cave. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. I guess we're about to enter the troll cave and get us some, some L's. Oh, my God. I thought his little dragon was a troll for a second. All right, let's go ahead and fight these trolls. Okay, everybody in here fighting trolls. Attack Troll Chucker, level one. This man is over here taking my kills. I'm not cool with that. Let's go, let's go. Yes. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, let's go over here to this guy. Let's go. Let's go, yeah. 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 Wait a minute, did this guy get it or did I get it? Okay. So I defeated zero because everybody's... Oh my god, everybody's attacking all the trolls, bruh. I can't get... Can I get one kill? Thank you. Alright. I defeated one. I need to defeat four more. Ooh, shit. No, 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 no. Wrong person. Wrong person. Wrong person. Wrong person, bro. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Is that two? Did I get that? I can't even tell who's doing what. Because I can't see nothing. Alright. Let's go ahead and get some space. Okay. Bro, let me get this one. Get this one. Okay. It says you only need to click once. I mean, I see that, but you can clearly see why I'm trying to... Oh, let's get this one right here. He's by himself. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. Let's go get this guy over here. He really got me. That's crazy. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, shit. Let's go. Stack value. Uh, take bronze arrow. Loot all. We're looting all of that. I'm gonna need all of that. Cool. All right, let's go. Way of the Warrior, Troll Booth, Return to, to, to Rail. All right, let's go. Everybody's getting their little troll things in. That's kind of the one thing I didn't like about this little area. So you don't know, you can tell, obviously, if you don't get the, the, the kills, but there's so many people in this area that are attacking trolls that it's hard to get to isolate a troll for yourself and, and like you know take one down I mean I had to literally like break away from the group which was hard to do because by the time everybody else gets there it's like okay cool by the way it's time for me to eat one of these things where's my activity bar isn't this my activity bar bro what the heck hold on let me go eat my, my bread real quick eat bread awesome because I'm not about to walk up around here with low health well I'm at 100% health now but you know what I mean like I can't be out here Low health and everything. That's not good. Okay. Uh, talk to Terrell. Yo, Terrell. Okay. What's up, Big Pimpin? Well done defeating those trolls. Are you ready to move up? Uh, yeah. I'm ready to move on. 
You did great against the trolls. It's time to learn a bit more. Awesome. Your attacks gain adrenaline. These attacks are, are abilities too, known as basic abilities. Your basic abilities are currently activated by a special action bar. Interesting. The action bar is able to run an automated ability uh, firing system called Revolution. Cool. Each attack cycle, Revolution will activate the left most ability that's not currently on cooldown, as long as you meet its requirements. Revolution is customizable in your combat settings. Okay, you can find the full suite of your abilities in these ability books grouped by combat style. Interesting. To find out what ability does, ugh. to find out what an ability does, hover over the ability to display its tooltip. Interesting. Okay, you can drag abilities from your ability book into your action bar. Drag the eat food ability from your constitution ability book to your section secondary action bar. I have a secondary action bar. Oh my god! All right, I can't even find the primary action bar. Consume. Hold on, this if I hover over it says consume the first piece of food in your backpack. Oh, that's cool. Eating food while at full health does not help you. Okay, cool, my bad. What about this one? Focus on your remaining adrenaline to heal yourself. Heal 2% of your maximum. Let's go ahead and drag that over here too. That's pretty helpful. Cool. And take some time to explore what your abilities do and set up revolution uh, to your liking. Speak to Terrell again when you're done. Well, I'm done. So, Terrell, where you at? Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right. Now you're familiar with your abilities, you need a proper challenge. Uh, there is a really big troll called Morningstar in the cave to the north. Go take them down. Oh, my God. Okay. We're getting big boy goals. All right. They have a cave troll. Defeat Morningstar, the troll chucker boss. So, that's going to be behind us. Pretty sure it's exactly where we came from. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, troll cave. So how far back would that troll chucker guy be? Cause, oh wait a minute. There was a troll chucker that was, oh my God. Level 10? Don't tell me I'll find him by myself cause uh, all of a sudden, everybody disappeared. <laughs> it's just me. That's not cool. Hello. You won't let me kill you? Big pimpin'? I'm gonna attack you. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh my god. Bro. Bro, heal yourself. Heal yourself. Oh my god. Eat. Bro. Oh no! No. We barely got you out in time. Remember, to eat when you're injured, the trolls might eat you. Jesus. Okay, we need to make some food. Matter of fact, you're gonna need some more crawfish. That was crazy. That was crazy! Defeat Morning Stars and be harder than I thought. Uh, eat rabbit sandwich. Oh, I have rabbit sandwiches. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let me see. What is my health looking like? No, 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 bro. Okay, so I'm at full health right now. How do I dodge? That's the thing that sucks about this fighting scheme. Like, I don't know how to dodge. I don't know how to do any of that. It's literally just click and get hit. Like, I'm kind of like just stuck. If there's anybody that has like some help, helpful tips, that would be uh, that would be great. Cause, what the freak? All right, hold on. Watch this. I'm literally like about to. So watch this. I'm about to attack him and back up. So click there and then click back. So click him, watch. And get back. Come on, 
back up. Bro, eat, eat, eat! What the fuck? Bro, go back. Eat. Bro, quit trying to attack him. Oh my god, what is wrong with my character? Jesus Christ. Are you fucking crazy, bro? All right, all right, go back. All right, one. Nice. Cool. All right, back, attack him. Over here. Over here. Bro, what are you doing? Almost, almost. Over here, over here. Eat, 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 eat. 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 Cool. 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 Come on. Come on. Almost, almost, almost. Come on. Almost there. Yes. 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 Come on. Attack him. Yes. Okay, we uh, defeated the Morning Star. I didn't need, need to take his. Ooh, take bronze off. Yeah, I'm taking all of that. I'm gonna need all of that. Loot all. All of that. Yes, Sirski. Also, I'm gonna take uh, first thing that's in my inventory to eat. I don't know what was up with my guy. Like, LeBray, what's wrong with you, bruh? You gotta attack and back up. Like, <laughs> quit trying to attack and not do anything else. Like, he's not defending at all. Jesus. All right, let's go. So, I got to go to Terrell and tell him about my victory. Yo, Terrell. Terrell, Terrell, Terrell. I just got a victory. Terrell, Terrell, Terrell. Let's go. I'm happy, man. I mean, I don't really take dubs like this. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. All right, let's go. Terrell, you're going to be happy with me. Guess what I did? I took down that big old troll. Ah, 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 ah. All right. Talk to Terrell. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. You defeated their leader? Wow. I didn't expect you to actually survive. You definitely proven you understand melee combat. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was all the day's work, so. <laughs> all right. Path complete. Way to warrior. Your reward has been added to your backpack. Three rabbit sandwiches. Hey, you know, I work for food, okay? Food doesn't work for me. Melee is only the beginning. Range combat is a little trickier. You will need arrows and a bow to fire them. Okay, you can craft your own arrows with feathers from chickens and your woodcutting, fletching, and smithing skills. Okay, you can get some arrows from a shop. I hear that Corporal Booth inside of the Troll Cave is giving out free arrows to new adventurers. Okay, whoa. What's up then? Bow and arrow. Looks like uh, optional. Load your quiver with arrows and craft your own bow using fletching skill. Reward 30 bronze arrows. Okay, let's do this one first. Matter of fact, we're going to probably end the game here. We did a lot today. We actually secured a dub. So next time, we're going to go ahead and craft some bow and arrows. Uh, Fletch some 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 arrows and stuff like that as well, and then uh, go on troll patrol. Troll patrol. Oh my god. Why does it sound like I said that twice? Anyways, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn your post notifications. I know these videos aren't going to get any views, but if you enjoy this content and you want to help me out, just go ahead and leave a comment in the comments down below. It's been an honor and a privilege playing this game with you guys. I'm going to see you guys soon. Take care. Love you guys. Peace. Well, 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below, and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever. Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, 
Twitter. We're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Bragging. Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever. Okay? It's simple. Just go ahead and do those little things. We're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything, and it really means a lot. Now, I know you guys stumbled up across the channel, and you're like, what does this guy post? Like, what kind of content does he post? Reactions, vlogs, pretty much whatever comes to my mind. All right, it's random content. I don't know what I'm gonna be posting 10 years from now, but I do know that you can stick along for the journey, and it really means a lot. Now, for every single person that subscribes and follows, all of the accounts that I have made, and the, all the links will be in the description down below, that's an automatic entry for any future giveaways I decide to have. I'll remind you when the giveaways take place, but you'll be surprised what I will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point, and it's only right that I do the same thing back. Thank you guys so much for being amazing, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.